Hey gang, I've got something different for you today. A little bit off the beaten path for me at least, but I think you're going to like it, so stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the Starch Solution. The Starch Solution is a program that was developed by Dr. John McDougall, and on this program, I was able to lose those last 15 pounds. If you'd like more information on the Starch Solution, I will leave a link to his book, The Starch Solution, in the description box below. On my channel, you're gonna find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes that are also gluten-free, and I use no oil to cook with. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And if you'd like more plant-based content, please follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. If you're new to this way of eating or maybe you've been doing it a while and feel like you need a little bit more support, I started a Facebook group and there you will find like-minded people, recipes, inspiration, and best of all, support. And if you're still not convinced that a plant-based diet is right for you, I created an e-guide which explains the benefits of a plant-based diet. And if you need even more convincing, I have a newsletter, so I want you to be sure to sign up for that. And that comes out every other month. And I discuss different topics, some are from a nursing perspective, I'll have recipes in there, some tips and tricks. And I will leave the links to all these resources in the description box below. So as I said in the intro, this recipe is a little bit different for me. This recipe was inspired by Young Man Cooking. He has a YouTube channel. And not only do I love his recipes, but I love his voice. It is so soothing and relaxing that it's amazing. Um, I did change a little bit of things on this recipe as far as there's no oil in it and I changed up some of the spices, which I encourage you to do with all recipes. To me, recipes are more like a guideline and if I don't like one thing or if it's too much of something, I just adjust it to my taste. So this recipe is going to be a chickpea coconut rice recipe. So it will be a little bit higher in calories because I'm using some coconut milk, it will be the light coconut milk, and there's a few hazelnuts in it. So it's gonna be higher on the calorie density scale. This dish would be great if you're having some people over and you wanna do something that's a little bit fancier, but it's still super easy, and I think you're gonna like it. So let's get started. Here I have a cup of basmati rice, which I've rinsed a couple of times and drained. And that's just gonna go in a saucepan here on medium high heat. And we're just going to want to toast this for a couple of minutes. So you want to stir it constantly. And literally just a couple of minutes. We're using no oil. Then I'm going to add a cup of light coconut milk. And you want to give it a good stir. Make sure that nothing is stuck on the bottom. So once it starts to bubble, I like to just check one more time that nothing is sticking to the bottom. Then we're going to turn this down to medium low or low and just cover it and then we'll let this cook for 15 minutes. So while the rice is cooking, I wanted to show you the other ingredients. Uh, first I want to show you this is the coconut milk I used. You can find this in the Asian section of your grocery store and it's the light. So it's still, yes, it's higher in fat, full transparency, but this is something that I'm not going to eat every day, every week. This is a once in a while kind of a treat I do for myself. And I think that that is perfectly fine when 99.9% .9 of the time you're eating starch solution, whole food, plant-based, Hey, yeah, throw one of these recipes in every now and then. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna be using some broccolini. I don't know if you've ever used this. This is broccolini. It's basically like baby broccoli and it's got a milder taste. So I just chopped up about two cups. So we'll have that ready when we need it. And then I've got a half of a red onion that I chopped up. And of course, a can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, and I'm gonna rinse and drain these. We're gonna also use some hazelnuts. And these are 
hazelnuts. I'm sure you've seen these. So I'm just gonna rough chop these. I need a quarter cup, so I'm gonna chop them up, put them in my quarter cup measure here, and nothing too exciting about this. And these are gonna give this dish a nice little crunch. I like to have different textures, different flavors in food. Makes it interesting. So you wanna chop them up about like that, just a rough chop. And I just got these in the bulk section of my grocery store. So if you only need something like a little bit of something, that's the good way to do it. So the timer just went off for 15 minutes. So we're gonna turn the heat all the way off and let it self steam for another 10 minutes. So while the rice is self steaming, let's prepare the rest of our ingredients. First, we're gonna add the red onion into a preheated pan here. And I just added some water because we're not cooking with oil. And we're just gonna let this cook for a couple minutes. And you're gonna be on medium heat here. Now I'm gonna add a clove of garlic. Give that a stir. Let this go for another minute. Now we're gonna add our chickpeas, all our spices. And what I have going in there is garlic powder, chili powder, smoked paprika, and some turmeric and a little salt. And I have adjusted the spices for my taste. I'll leave a link to his original recipe and then if you want to follow that, that'll be your choice. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water here just because it's getting a little dry. And we'll just let this go for a couple minutes. And you want to stir it every now and then. Now we'll add in our broccolini, our hazelnut. We'll just saute for three or four minutes. And if you feel like you need to add a little bit more water, then do so. So I've plated up my rice, put some of these chickpeas and the broccolini. So pretty. The color with the turmeric. And then I'm just gonna garnish with a little bit of cilantro. And there you go. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's give this a taste. So here we go, finished product. The color is gorgeous. I don't know if it translates through the camera here, but oh, it's beautiful. And the rice came out perfect. That coconut milk flavors that rice so beautifully. And then you've got your chickpeas and all the spices and the broccolini and the cilantro. It's so good. All right, let's give it a whirl. Mmm, a little bit of crunch from the hazelnuts. Such a burst of flavors going on in my mouth right now. So delicious. That young man cooking knows what he's doing. So like I said, I did adjust things from the original recipe. I will leave a link to his original recipe in the description box below so you can check it out. Um, but I also left out, he added, I think a half a cup of shredded coconut. I left that out just because that's just so high in fat and I did not think it was necessary. But you know, you do you. So sometimes it's fun just to get out of your comfort zone, do something that's a little bit different. I would have never thought of putting this combination of spices and ingredients together. So I encourage you to explore the internet. There's all kinds of recipes out there. Just be careful that they fit into the Stark Solution guidelines and that it's whole food, plant-based, no oil, and you can pretty much adjust most recipes to fit what you want. And that's not to say that sometimes you're going to go a little to the left or a little to the right. And that's okay. Just as long as the majority of the time you are eating whole food plant-based, 
low fat, no oil. Because if your goal is to be healthy and, and or lose weight, that's the way to do it. And the starch solution is a great way to get all that done. Lose weight, be healthy, and you are also eating absolutely delicious food. If you've made it to this part in the video, thank you so much for sticking to the end. And if you leave me a comment that says chickpeas, then I'll know that you made it to the end with me and I appreciate it. And as always, all my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. If you're new to this way of eating, or maybe you've been doing it a while, but you feel like you... <clears throat> Ooh. So... Oh, come on now. <clears throat> Killing me, Smalls. Yeah, I'm not liking that egg. That's better. Much better.